What a weekend. All four divisional games were decided on the final play. Matt, I have a simple question for you. After some wild finishes, who had the most disappointing loss of the divisional round? Well, it's going to be hard to go against the Packers and Aaron Rodgers yeah. and how abysmal that was at home. But I'm going to go with the other one seed uh, in the Tennessee Titans. That yeah. was a game that I think a lot of people, because of how Joe Burrow and the Cincinnati Bengals won their first game in Cincinnati, everybody was on the hype train. But Tennessee was still a legitimate team. They were getting King Henry back, right. uh, and they played unbelievable. I mean, the defense getting nine sacks on Joe Burrow. Ooh. Nine sacks was unbelievable. You're supposed to win a game. You're you supposed that. to do that. On top of that, you had Julio Jones, you had A.J. Brown. A.J. had that unbelievable catch for yeah. a touchdown. But Tannehill throws three costly picks, and you end up losing at home in a game that it really looked like you were in control for most of it. Uh, there's no reason that Tennessee shouldn't be hosting the Kansas City Chiefs in the AFC Championship game. And at the end of the day, it comes down to them losing. I mean, kudos to Burrow, kudos to Cincinnati. What a game. I'm excited for them to play against Kansas City. But yeah. this was Tennessee's game to win, and Tannehill cost them. 100%. We both picked the Bengals to win that game, but you're, you're right. I mean, that is as disappointing as a loss gets for the Tennessee Titans for all the reasons that you mentioned. You, you end up getting the one seed without, even with all the injuries you had throughout yep. the regular season. You get your big three of Derrick Henry, A.J. Brown, Julio Jones on the field at the right time. And this is the most damning part of all to me for the Tennessee Titans. Zach Taylor, the other head coach, this is the Eddie Bengals. What a playoff experience does he have? None. 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 What playoff experience does Joe Burrow have as great as he is? None. Absolutely none. And well, you're one game up to that point. <laughs> right, right. I mean, but in terms of a deep playoff run, this is this is a group and this is an Eddie Bengals who are, you know, playing with house money. And you yep. as the Tennessee Titans with a lot on the line if you're Mike Vrabel, Ryan Tannehill, and the crew. Um, that's a crushing loss, but I actually have to go in a different direction. Right. One that doesn't even involve right. the Green Bay Packers. We all watched a, a, a spectacular, spectacular game on Sunday night. Maybe one of the best games we ever seen between the Kansas City Chiefs Absolutely. and Buffalo Bills, but that loss for the Bills is as disappointing as it gets for, for a myriad of reasons. First off, Josh Allen played just an excellent game. I mean, he was he was superb from start to finish. What he was able to do down the stretch was was excellent. He played two great games in a row. Something we know Josh Allen really hasn't been able to do put together uh, throughout his career, but he was able to put two excellent games in a row together. Um, and again, if you're the Buffalo Bills, Tyron Matthew on the Chiefs goes out in the first half. He plays basically just a handful of snaps. You have. Patrick Mahomes in the Chiefs on the ropes playing your best football arguably for the Buffalo Bills and you can't get it done and this is the question that that loss begs if not now when because Joe Burrow was coming Justin Herbert is coming Patrick Mahomes isn't going anywhere to be very clear so mm -hmm. again I have to ask if not now when I believe that was the Buffalo Bills best shot to advance to a Super Bowl probably win a Super Bowl and mm -hmm. Patrick Mahomes once again proves that he's the best quarterback the best player in the NFL and again I think last night or Sunday night excuse me just shows the difference Josh Allen is superb he's an excellent quarterback it's not something I even would have said a year ago but there's still a sizable difference a sizable gap between a Patrick Mahomes and a Josh Allen no shade on Josh Allen but for all those reasons okay. for all those reasons that's a disappointing loss especially obviously it's with the heartbreaking fashion in which it came. I mean, first off, I think you were the only one who didn't think Josh Allen could string together, you know, impressive games. Well, he I mean, is. Look, look at his chart listen, over the last few years, but go ahead. He, the last few years, he's been an MVP candidate, made it to an AFC Championship game last year, played yeah. in what should have been the AFC Championship game this year. He went toe to toe with Patrick Mahomes and did not blank. I don't think it is. Uh, in that sense disappointing and it's really on the defense for not being able to stop Mahomes with 13 seconds left I get that part of it uh, but at the end of the day uh, to say that any the only thing Allen didn't do was he called tails instead of heads yeah. I mean that's what it came down to and, and the same point and the argument 
of, you know, Burrow's coming. Absolutely. Herbert is coming as well. Yes. Mahomes is going to be there. So is Allen. I mean, this Bills team is still hanging on to this same roster. They may lose Dable or Frazier which or would, both. Which is massive. It you is important, understand. but you still have the ability with McDermott as your head coach, with the front office still intact for the most part, yeah. and with the core roster there. This isn't a Bills team that is going anywhere. They're still going to be the one of the best in the AFC East. They're probably going to be the top team in the AFC East for years to come, and Allen sure. is going to continue on this trajectory uh, for a while now. 100%. I mean, we don't put too much stock in being the top team in your division, especially when the Not division anymore, I guess. is the AFC East. We're talking about the conference, especially when you're a team like the Bills, whose aspirations are Super Bowl or bust, as they were this season. They probably will continue to be yep. the reality moving forward. And again, Patrick Mahomes, Andy Reid, and that crew, they're not really going anywhere. So again, I believe the game we saw to Josh Allen on Sunday night, that was the best game of his career, playoff or regular season. Um, it remains to be seen if he can replicate that, if he can continue to do that moving forward in high stakes situations. Um, but that has to be a disappointment. The Titans are disappointed. We're not gonna let the Packers off the hook. No. Be sure of that. We'll get to the Packers soon. Um, but that's gonna do it for us over Scott Proctor for Matt Morris. We'll catch you next time.